Come with me. Come with me. Engine bits. I've just got to nip out. Let's come back and have a look at these, shall we? Before we have a look at the new engine and what we're going to do, we'll have a quick look at this. Just a quick recap for anybody that's found this channel through this series with the engine. But let me show you what, how it stands now, shall we? Right, we have got an MR2 Roadster Stroke Spider with one or two modifications. I actually bought this car as a standard car and I've done everything on it myself. It's taken two years so far. This one is currently pushed to its limit of a stock unbuilt engine. We've got a charge called turbo set up. It's a damn quick car. Well, let's do something that make it quicker, shall we? So what I want to do for this series is take a 1ZZ, all in pieces, and we're going to build it. And I'm aiming for about 450 brake horsepower out of it. We're going to build it in a way so it will be a very reliable 450 this will take a lot more power than that so depending on gearbox choices etc later there could be some changes anything can happen what i want to do for this build is build and document and video as much as i possibly can as of, of the build down to gapping the rings and everything it's been probably 20 years since i've built an engine so i'm going to be working alongside streetworks uh, with this build because they are doing a lot of the specialist things as well for it we, We're going with a lot of coated parts ceramic coating heat dispersant coating anti-friction coatings all that sort of stuff will be done by Streetworks. He's also Porting the head and there's some other special bits coming up that we'll just have to wait and see Mike the, the guy behind Streetworks. He's going to do a few videos for us because he lives at the opposite end of the country to where I am. So he's going to record a few videos of the process of what he's doing at his end. We'll integrate that into these videos. So we'll have a bit of the process of the specialist sort of stuff and I will do all the build. So let's have a look at the bits we've got, shall we? Right, here we have the basis of the entire build. This is a 1ZZ block dart and sleeved and is bored out to 82 millimeters so this will be a 1.93 liter engine wiseco pistons to go with the block 82 mil 8.8 .8 to 1 compression nice we're actually going to do some special coatings on these pistons to keep the heat in the right place to keep friction down we'll talk about more of that when that time comes crowa rods these are literally the strongest you can buy So over here we've got stainless steel valves from Monkey Wrench Racing, ARP main bolt kit, I've yet to get a head kit, lots of spares to build the engine back up, we've obviously got the bottom bit of the engine there and all the other bits. This is a stock head, Streetworks will be taking this head away and doing a lot of work on it, so we'll talk more about that later. I wasn't going to go cams but I'm actually going to go forced induction cams now, we're going to go with the uprated springs, the uprated retainers, the stainless valves and see if we can lift the rev limit up on this as well. Brand new Toyota crank in there, we're going to do some special coatings on there as well. So that's basically where we are at now guys, that gives you a basic idea of where this build's going. We're gonna do it in sections. The short block separate, we'll build the head separate. Once we've done that, then we'll be starting to look at things that we're bolting onto it. Turbo manifolds, inlet manifolds, turbos. We've got to look at the gearbox yet. There's two options with the gearbox. Either we use the C6 series 
the stock gearbox and upright the gears to the jubber gears they should be good for about the 450 brake horsepower if we if we start going into higher power the only other option is the e153 mark 2 mr2 turbo gearbox which will take substantially more power this is literally going to be a build from this stage now to when it's on the rolling road it's not going to happen quick and i will video as much as i possibly can and hopefully you guys might come out with some suggestions because we've not decided on turbos yet. I'm thinking Garrett GTX 3076R because they're a quick spooling turbo. We want to keep the lag down a bit and yet it's good enough for well over 500 brake horsepower. And the exciting thing about this, power to weight ratio on five, 600 brake horsepower, you're talking top end Lamborghini power. So it should be quite quick. Right guys, so we'll catch up in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for this engine build. Also, more videos on this build and everything else we're going to do this year. I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.